What is popping? What is locking? And what is dropping? It's your girl Brooke. What is going on? If you're new here, hey, I'm Brooke. I make lifestyle videos. Or if you have been here before, welcome back. So, um, we are rolling with 447 on a Wednesday afternoon. Um, started work at 8 o'clock. I've been in training all day and we have a quick 15 minute break before we go back and then continue until 6 o'clock. So I just had this random spurt of energy. I'm ready to rock and roll. Usually during this break because it's been going on all week. Um, people have been changing and getting into a bit more comfier clothes. So I've thrown my hair up. I changed into this new top that just came in today and my Nike soccer shorts. I'm on coffee number three, if you couldn't guess, and just living my best life out here. So this Saturday, we are going to Mexico because it will be Darren's 30th birthday. So we're going to go to Mexico to celebrate his birthday. And then the following week on the 26th, it is Hunter and Sadie's second birthday. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick um, what we are giving them for their birthday. We're still waiting on like two or three more toys, but we've got quite a bit of a little toy haul for them. Okay, so I'm gonna do a toy haul. We have someone here trying to get a sneak peek. They got a little haircut just two days ago and they look splendid. Um, but Angel, I have to kick you out because you can't see your birthday presents. I love you. But I gotta give you the boot. You, you can't be in here, princess. First thing, it looks like a fishing pole and it has these little like toys at the end and you like dangle it and so they can jump up and grab it. Um, like dangling toys and like jumping for them is one of Sadie's favorite things to do. And usually she ends up like scratching us in the process. So being able to do that from like a distance is just gonna be really exciting. Apparently it's for like training um, dogs how to like hunt and retrieve, but for them it'll just be fun to play with. Um, this, uh, we thought we ordered the big one. This came in just a little small, but still very cute. And then we have, of course, a typical duck. This, I call him the snack snail. So he has a little Velcro. And then um, there are like little openings where you, snick, um, you stick treats. So it's like an interactive toy. So they smell the treat and they're like trying to retrieve it. So I don't think it's called a snack snail, but I call it, oh, it's called a, a snuffle. A snuffle, but I call it a snack snail. And then we have a little acorn with a mustache and a little squirrel. I thought we'll keep together and then um, we haven't inflated it yet but it's a foot or a soccer ball and then it has all these little tabs so that they can bite it without like hurting their jaw so um, these are little like hold tabs and then this is from the brand chuck it and it's supposed to um, like emulate a or imitate a like flying squirrel situation so it's kind of curved and it, I'm assuming it kind of drifts and changes direction. Um, we're excited about that. This is like a water toy, also the brand Chuck It, um, kind of like a water frisbee. This is a super chewer toy, rigid um, cactus. And then this duck is a slingshot. And then it has that tail so you can like pull it and then fling it wherever you need to. Um, and then these, they love these toys, so we just got them two more. They don't last very long. Um, we got these turkey tendons, these little treats. Um, we got three backup backup balls because we got a, a Nerf gun that launches balls. So these are backup balls for that. So when our arm gets tired from throwing balls, we're now gonna, and I'm really excited about that. Um, we have, I think, two or three toys um, that we're still waiting to come in. Um, but this is the bulk and majority of what we are going to give them. Um, we tried making them dog cakes before. They don't eat them. They're not big on typical dog treats. They only like, like the jerky ones. So um, unfortunately, we haven't figured out what they're going to like, what we're gonna sing them happy birthday around to have them blow out um, TBD. But we are really excited to celebrate their birthday. I can't believe they're gonna be two. Oh my 
my gosh, my little babies that just like, <sighs> I know I'm young, but if I feel like seeing them grow up is like aging me. And also I just want them to be puppies forever. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I think I got to get back to my training. And then once I finish my training, I'm going to go grab dinner with some of my gals and then I have to do some laundry and then I might even start packing for Mexico. So yeah, that's it for this. Look at little Hunter's haircut. We asked for, um, for like teddy bear. So they are supposed to leave the cheeks all the way down to like the jaw. With Hunter, they definitely didn't do that. I think they gave him like a poodle haircut and then cut off the top trying to save it. But they did not do his haircut correctly. But they still look so cute. You guys still look so cute though, huh? You can see Sadie has the right one. Poor aunties. Okay, so my training ended early and I want to show you guys something random that I recently bought. It just came in yesterday. It's called Jacked Jaw. Have you guys seen these? So this is like a necklace. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost fell off the stool. Okay, so it's a necklace. And it works out your jaw. So you're just supposed to like bite this and it's like a jaw workout. It reminds me of like those, you know those little things that you like, eh, 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 to like work out your wrist. This apparently gives you like a bomb jawline. And I mean, I don't have a bad jawline, my jawline's fine, but I just want it to be more defined. So apparently this is the way to do it. So if you guys are interested in hot jaw summer, I will link it below. Um, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, again, the brand is Jacked Jaw, Jacked Jaw. But yeah, this is my new random purchase of the week, but I gotta get going to dinner with my gals and I'm not bringing my jaw worker outer with me. Also, other random fact as I'm getting all my stuff together, did you know I was watching a documentary yesterday that apparently pirates created the first democracy in America? Weird, I didn't know that. Um, discovered. And there were a few other random, like, tidbits of information. I will, you know, you know let me just film my chin. Um, I'll update you guys when I remember, but I've been finding out like all kinds of like weird random facts and I'm here for it. So I'll share with you guys when I find out because you might like them. So I'm sitting at this red light and I keep thinking about the fact that Darren kept saying that he doesn't want to do anything for his birthday in Mexico, just being in Mexico is enough. Um, so I made this reservation at this really amazing restaurant that like overlooks the water, made like a sunset reservation. They have all of his favorite like seafood and stuff and it's gonna be amazing. Um, and then I'm decorating the room, got his presents, I'm taking everything there. It's gonna be great, but he doesn't want me to book any activities. And I'm just kind of like at a loss because I want to make sure that we have fun on his birthday. Um, so I at least want to have some things to suggest, but because of COVID, it feels like everything is like closed. And I'm just kind of running out of options. If you guys have any um, recommendations, please, please let me know in the comments below because I feel seriously lost. One last comment, it is 95 degrees today. I am sweating and guess what? Our air conditioning gave out again. So our house is just a freaking sauna. I'm trying to keep like all the blinds closed at home um, to prevent the house from like heating up. But I'm so sick and tired of this. I can't wait till we move into the new house. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Um, new house still happening. We should have already had keys. Title company messed up. So we had to extend our clothes. We decided to extend the clothes 30 days just to make sure no other funny business was gonna happen because we had to get the sellers to agree to extend it. So we just wanted to extend it once. If we close early, we close early, but if not, at least we have some um, uh, kind of like leeway and such. So house is still happening, um, but yeah, we haven't gotten the keys yet. Just the sake bomb. Do you want me to like pour it? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Here, we'll, we'll pour. Is how you pour. Oh, 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 is it? Is oh, it? No, it would it would have spilled. <laughs> oh, do not hit the first. Right, you know what? I can only tell you it's too wet. Sake pop! Sake pop! Sake pop! I just wanted to show you guys another one of their birthday presents came in. It is a giant ant. 
Sadie always goes bug hunting, so I thought she'd really enjoy this. And she caught a glimpse of it, and she's super excited. And now she just follows. You're not getting it today, pretty girl. So today for work, our training video, it cuts off right here, so I just have a blouse and a blazer. And then I'm wearing just workout pants, and I'm probably gonna wear slippers, not wearing them right now. So my little like icon picture is like this big, so I didn't worry too much. Slipper gang, baby. So this is my little station. I decided not to set up in the office because I'm just at the computer all day and it's too claustrophobic. So I have my setup with my uh, new 10 foot phone cord. Although I'm like three feet away from where it plugs in. Um, and yeah, this is, this is the setup. I get some coffee, get some snacks. I got my jaw worker outer, which obviously I can't do on video, but on breaks I also do that. All my note stuff and yeah. It's about 30 minutes until we're getting started and I still haven't even had coffee yet, but fear not, because I made co extra coffee yesterday. So they gave us a bit of homework that we have to have done. Um, because we finished at six o'clock yesterday, we just have to have it done before we restart for the morning. So I have like 30 minutes and I'm just gonna get started here. on a break for my training. It has just been go, go, go. It's like 1.30. We've only been getting quick breaks every like hour, hour and a half. So it's been super draining, really great information. It's gonna be really helpful. It's just all like <laughs> at once really compacted in. Also, bum, ba -dum, the pup's final toy has arrived. It is a chuck it ball. It's like foam inside and like this carpety rug material on the outside. And this is definitely Hunter's favorite toy. Um, he rips it up pretty quick. It brings him so much happiness just to like rip this thing apart. So uh, he'll have the opportunity to do that again. So it's been a while since he's had one of these, so he's gonna be so excited. Honestly, despite all the other like really awesome toys that I found, I have a feeling this is probably gonna be his favorite So, <laughs> But I'm really proud of myself. I feel like a lot of do dog toys are just like the plush toys or like super similar. And I feel like I found a lot of like really unique toys this time. So I'm really excited, super proud of myself. Amazon came through for me. Uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm stoked. I can't believe their birthday is the 26th. It is so soon. Ah, my babies are growing up. Also, um, because I keep seeing it, I bought some Super Goop um, glow screen. And I've heard that it's all that in bag of chips. I don't, I think like my, um, my like tinted moisturizer has sunscreen in it, but I don't have like a specific sunscreen that I put on and I know how important that is. So I've been wanting to get one. I just didn't know what. So I tried this one out. This is the SPF 40 and it's awesome. Honestly, I would use this even in place of, um, tinted moisturizer. So it's four o'clock. I just finished doing this like role play thing. We do three back to back with like different managers from other parts of the country that we don't know. <sighs> oh my gosh, I was so freaking nervous. But anyway, I apparently did really well. I got awesome reviews and like feedback from all the different managers. So feeling really great about myself. Um, also, if you're wondering where I am, I'm in my laundry room right now. Um, I did a load of laundry earlier, but I didn't have time to fold it. So I'm gonna unload the dryer and then put away some laundry. It's Thursday and Saturday. Oh my gosh, 6 a.m. is when we leave. So I'm feeling like I need, I need to start packing. But my other thing is that when I pack too early, by like the time I'm ready to finish packing, I forget what I've already packed. Oh, let's go. Oh, okay, I am done for the day. And I just decided to set up shop in bed because 
my pups were here and I thought I was gonna snuggle them. And then 30 seconds later, Darren got home and they abandoned me and now they're all playing outside. So I'm alone. Good morning, good morning. So I got up, got ready, and I took care of my work stuff for the morning. So I have about 20 minutes until the training starts. So um, here's what I am wearing today. So this is just a like fitted cropped um, black tank. And then these are just these like loose loungewear, super like soft ribbed material. Um, I got these from Hollister. Um, when the training starts, I'm gonna throw a blazer over this. So you're just gonna see the black neckline and the blazer. Cause again, video only goes to here. So we can business at the top, party at the bottom. So I did not end up packing yesterday. Um, when I finished work, I relaxed. Um, I got on Instagram for a little bit. And then I made this like really bomb, like right, like fried rice. Um, no, not fried rice, fried shrimp. Uh, over rice with like this yellow curry sauce. It was so good. And then I watched the first 48. We've been getting really into the first 48 again and just watching like true crime shows. And then not true crime, but the movie I Care A Lot is hecka good. I first I didn't like the vibe and then it like totally changed into like this like crime thing and like possible murder and all this stuff. So my opinion quickly changed as I watched a little more of the movie. So I would definitely recommend watching it's called i care a lot i think it's on netflix it's on netflix or hulu i think it's netflix though um but anyway i have like yeah like 20 minutes so i'm gonna try to pack like quickly <laughs> uh this morning i checked into our flights got our uh, passports ready to rock and roll and yeah i now have less time okay so i already packed all my bras and underwear enough for two weeks because although I've been potty trained for over two decades, I still feel like I might forget all of my training once I go on vacation. Um, and then I have some new bikinis I'll show you guys. It's almost like a longer sports bra situation. And then it has some, uh, some regular typical bottoms. And then I bought the same one in like an electric blue. And then, uh, or actually this one's a little different because it has like some uh, cross detail uh, that one and then here's one uh, that I wore um, only once in Miami the lace one and that has like the really cheeky back it's super cute I love this one here's another one I just got for this trip so it like goes deep and then it has these straps so you can like wrap the straps around the back to make an X and like tighten the front or tighten the back um, it's it's really cute I'm a big fan of it so I haven't worn that yet this one in the electric blue one just came in yesterday I don't have to do with these giant strings here here's another one I just got so it's a uh, one no I think it goes this way so it's one shoulder and then this like wraps around your body and so it's like a second strap um, and then bottoms for those oh no these are are these the bottoms for it I don't know but they're black bottoms and they're um, ruche on the back these ones are from, oh, these are from Victoria's Secret. So no, these are not from it. It makes the booty cheeks look good. And then uh, this is just white bikini, a little bit of ruching in the back. And then um, it's one of those that put on from the back, you know, and then tie around the front. Uh, I don't, I haven't worn, oh yeah, I haven't worn it, so it's a thing. Uh, this one's from Zaffle. It's just um, a little pink and then top like this um, and then a few pairs of socks um, shoe wise I'm gonna pack these sandals and then the flip-flops in case we do anything where I need tennis shoes I have these kids and then um, for Darren's birthday dinner I'm not sure what I'm wearing yet but I know I want to wear heels but I also don't want to fall so um, I have this like chunky heel I just got. And then for bikini cover up, this is like my mesh black tie skirt. And then one of my friends just bought me like leopard print, like long, like robe one. And it like goes all the way to the ground and you just like, you feel so bougie. I also need to bring all of my stuff for Darren's birthday. So he watches my vlog, so I'm not gonna show everything, but um, I mean, I'm packing like bags, tissues, 
um, some decorations. What happened to this bag? There we go. Um, for his birthday, and then I also have his presents, which obviously is what the bags are for. So um, I just need to pack all this in. Oh my gosh, look how cold this already is. And I haven't even put my shoes, I haven't even put my clothes. I'm gonna have to bring a bigger bag. But I guess we can skip to the carry-on. Uh, so I've got my JBL speaker, got charger for it, passports. We'll save that for now. Uh, how much time do I have? Oh, I am out of time. I have to jump on my training. Okay, to be continued. Morning, guys. All right, so I've upgraded from the small or the medium one to the giant one. Um, I've pulled some of the shirts that I think I'm gonna wear and the rest of the things that I need for the carry-on. Um, I have another like 15 minute break, so I thought I'd try to get a bit more done. Okay, so I have a bunch of extra masks that I'm sticking in my carry-on, extra lipstick, gum. Uh, I'm bringing my Ray-Bans, but extra sunglasses that I'm gonna wear to the beach. 10 foot phone charger, um, purse, and in my purse I have already switched from my regular wallet to the small one so that I can always just grab that and go. And then I put all of the like birthday decor and stuff in here to make sure that that all stays flat. PJs. Sometimes I just wear long shirts and like panties. So I have two of those and then one PJ set. Um, I have one pair of like cloth striped shorts. And then um, I have black jean shorts and two pairs of regular jean shorts. Um, those are pretty much all the shorts I have. So I'm bringing all of them. So with this, I have um, either a cropped white shirt or I do have um, a new one I got from Express, just like a loose fitting, like semi-cropped tee that I could wear with it. I'm packing this. It's just kind of like a lacy little uh, number from um, Abercrombie. So I'm thinking this will pair nicely with um, some of the jean shorts. And then I could also wear one of the other, whatever white shirt I don't wear with those shorts, I could wear with jean shorts. Um, and then I have this like, crop little tube top with, that I wear with like high-waisted shorts. Um, so I could wear this with either the white or the denim. Um, I have some uh, leeway with that. And then um, this is like a form-fitting uh, little tank top. And then here's um, a black one. This black one um, goes a little longer, goes to like here. And this I'm going to pair with um, these pants. So they're like tapered at the bottom and then they're like cinched like um, paper bag pants and they have a little um, little ties. I just got these from Express. I have not worn them yet, but I'm thinking those with this and then the nude heels might be a cute look for Darren's birthday dinner. Or I did just get this. Um, it's like a shorter dress, so I could wear this with the heels depending on the vibe of what Darren is wearing for his birthday because we're going to a nice restaurant. So I just wanted at least like two, like a little bit dressier outfits in case we do something nicer. Um, and then I have this top, um, another just like kind of cropped V-neck um, black. Did I show the gray one? I don't remember if I showed this gray one. These are all different like looser V-necks, but I'm thinking I can just like French tuck them. So pretty much my entire, everything I'm bringing is like mix and match. So I could wear any of them with any of the shoes, even the little tennis shoes. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be a good method because I feel like usually when I go on vacation, like even if I plan outfits, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna wear these together. And then I switch and then whatever I didn't wear, like they don't match together. So here, this is just like mix and match central. Okay, so I found a few more items. So I found this shirt, which tucks in really cute. And then this, which is really cute French tucked into something. This top, in case it's a little chilly. And then this top, and then uh, jeans. So I now feel like I have 
I have everything that I could need and I think I'm good to pack it all up. So I have a couple minute break, so I'm grabbing a quick snack. These are Blue Diamond Salt and Vinegar Almonds. These are from Trader Joe's Multigrain Flaxseed um, Pita Crackers. This is from Trader Joe's Smoked Gouda Cheese and it came pre-sliced. And then this is a chili fig um, like jam spread thing. Next on the list, I believe is Brooke, Brooke Dub. Thank you for your engagement um, and congratulations on your certificate of completion. Thank you. You made it, you made it the week. Hey, so it is 1.50. I just finished my training, have my little graduation. I showed you guys a little clip. Um, and yeah, now I'm, I have a quick break. So I'm technically taking my lunch right now. And I'm just, I'm going to finish packing. I have that list that I wrote um, a little earlier today of everything that I still need to pack. Oh shoot, my makeup wipes are like open. That is not ideal. So this is the spray I put in my hair every day. It's by Purology and it is awesome. It's like, oh my gosh, how many things? 21 beneficial things in one. And then um, here's the... Um, Purology hair mask that I've been using. Uh, oh, sunscreen. Need that. Okay. okay. No, we're gonna put them down here. Okay. So, um, I still need. Oh yeah, deodorant. Deodorant. I like aerosol deodorant. Um. Okay. Here's a small from Dry Bar. Little dry, um, dry shampoo. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna bring that too. Okay. So, what am I still missing here? Razor. Okay. I've got my backup razors right here. My dehydrated makeup wipes are gonna have to work. Pack those, but I can pack my curler. Um, I use the hot tools and this is, I think a half inch. Perfume, ow, ow. Okay, we're gonna bring this one. I love the I Love Juicy Couture. This one, absolutely love. If you like this, it's like 80 or like 110, I think for this size. If you go to like Ulta or Macy's or you buy um, at any typical retailer online, um, my quick hack for you, buy it on Overstock. It's like 45 bucks. We are practically ready to go. I'm freaking stoked. Wow. Okay, so I have you guys on my bed just kind of facing up. Life hack, by the way. If you have anything that could leak, put it in a Ziploc bag. And then I guess I don't need all of these band-aids. I'll bring like 10. If I get more wounded than 10 band-aids, like we've got bigger issues. Like I need to go to the ER or something. All right, here we go. And now for my final act. We are going to weigh the luggage with my um, luggage weigher. We're just gonna slide this through the handle, hook it on. Okay, I turned it on. Okay, it's on the right unit. Oh, okay. 44.3 pounds. Barely, but I made it. And my carry-on is almost full, just enough room for my makeup and straightener. And then I've picked out my outfit for the airport, took out the flip-flops. I'm just gonna wear those to make a little more space. I have my list of the few items that I still need. Got my passport, purse, everything in here. And we are ready to go in the morning. So I am all packed up. I'm ready to go for Mexico, ready to go for Darren's birthday. Don't worry, I will be picking up the camera tomorrow and kicking off my Mexico vlog. This will be the last video until those Mexico vlogs. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're enjoying my content, don't forget, I have a whole library of other videos. So don't forget to check those out. Thank you guys again so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Talk to me, baby.